Give me your name and your first name at least. Where you're from? Sure, Ramiz Matar, uh, Orange County, California. Okay, and you're here just on business, so. Yeah, yeah, we're here to do a little bit of business and visit some family. Okay, so tell me, from California perspective, COVID-19, mask, lockdowns, what do you think? What do your friends and family think about it? No, I think uh, a lot of the uh, the perspective is just trying to remain safe and, and, and kind of adapting to just the new way of living. It seems like, you know, not only are we trying to be safe and make sure we're practicing the social distancing, but uh, we're also trying to adapt to uh, just the new climate of interacting with people. And uh, I think this is going to have a profound effect on us for the future, for sure. This isn't going to go away anytime soon. So one of the things that surprised me is coming up here, I was in Milwaukee yesterday, Chicago today, not a lot of people out and about like there is in Texas. Is this more like LA or is this different? I feel like people want to make the best of the circumstances that they're in right now and still try to live relatively normal lives. Um, and that's kind of been the challenge, you know, and, uh, and just there's been such a polarizing difference between two different types of people, those who want to really be secluded and those who want to kind of mm -hmm. still adhere to the COVID, uh, you know, uh, environment yet mm -hmm. still live normal lives. And I think that's been the battle that I've been seeing and within would, the community. For sure. Would you prefer more, uh, less restrictions and more kind of open it up or you kind of like where it's at or what's uh, your thoughts on that? I believe you got to take into consideration safety first, obviously. Mm -hmm. However, um, it's having such a profound effect on just business and commerce and interactions with people in general. I don't want it to have such a, a, a terrible effect on our ability to interact with each other. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, where's the line that you draw? And I'm, not, I'm just not the expert there as far as where that line sits. You know, Do you, uh, do you protect the community and avoid uh, going back to normal uh, lifestyle? Right. Or, or do you, uh, or do you live your life this way? You know, to, and, and that's that's kind of been the challenge, I'd say. Okay, so California, I'm guessing Joe Biden. Uh, you know, I'm guessing I'm not really, <laughs> I'm not really um, convinced with either candidate. To okay, be okay, fair enough. Uh, if I had to pick, I had to pick. I would put my money that Biden will probably win the election. Okay. But not necessarily a fan of okay. either or. Okay. And do you, final question, do you think the pre the presidential election will change how the country responds to the pandemic? Do you think if, if Trump wins, will things open back up? If Biden wins, will things kind of slow back down? Uh, and in the follow up, is, do you think the vaccine will have any impact? Yeah, the, the, they have very, very different perspectives on how to deal with this. I'd, I'd imagine if Biden took over, um, safety is going to be an absolute um, priority for the administration. I think, um, you know, businesses may have to prolong when they reopen. And I think uh, the SBA is going to have to come up with another package to keep this economy flowing. Trump comes in. Again, I'm not an expert. I would have to say that uh, it would be more commerce friendly, but uh, more health hazardous. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. And if you're not decided on Trump or Biden, you've got my name. Just write me in. I'll be on 35. So we're good. Thank you. Take care. Appreciate it, bud.